All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how you can scan legal size documents on your Canon Pixima MX922. Okay, so first you have to go to your start button, all programs, Canon utilities, and we want the IJ scan utility. Click on that. All right, what we have to do is define custom settings. So click on settings and let's go to custom. Right here, you are gonna select a document ADF simplex for the source. Uh, I'm picking color because my document has um, blue pen ink on there. Now the paper size, I already chose this you have to choose legal that's the eight and a half by 14 i believe dpi um eh, i'll choose 400 300 is good enough um and over here the file name uh i'll just put house deed 2014 uh I'm going to pick PDF because there are multiple pages and it's going to save in my documents. Okay. So the most important settings of course is the, the source and the paper size. As long as you have that, you're all set. So, so now we have defined the options for custom scan and we just want to save it. So click okay. All right. Um, now what I'm going to do is feed my first paper. And my first paper is actually regular sized paper. As you can see, um, the legal size paper is a little larger. So anyways, this is the first uh, paper in this document that I, I received. So I'll feed it in until you hear that beep. And then on the computer, I'll click the custom. It says scanner is warming up. Do not open the document cover. Okay, so now it's scanning the document. By the way, I have lots of awesome new videos. Check out my channel. Uh, after you see this video and um, see what else you're interested in. I may mean, have videos just about on everything because, you know, I like to take on projects basically. It's a gift and a curse. Okay, first document has been completed. As you can see on the screen, it says scan completed click exit to end and that will close the document or put the next paper in which i will do right now okay we hear that beep so we know we're ready and we just click scan so as you can see um i'm doing some legal sized paper and a rut and a regular letter sized paper in the same scan and it's all working perfectly um, and when it wraps up I'll show you the completed document obviously I'm gonna have to blur everything out because it is my house deed <laughs> and I don't want you know I don't want to be displaying that on the internet but um, you know this is how you do it I found out how to do the procedure today and I thought, man, I might as well make a video of this because I'm probably not the only person that needs to know how to do this. And I tried to figure it out on my own, um, playing with some of the options on the actual printer itself, using, you know, the various options on there. Couldn't figure it out um, in a short period of time, so fired up Google um, and went to the Canon website, found the instructions there. So I will tell you one thing, scanning in 300 DPI is 
Jeez, I, it's 100 or 200 percent quicker than this because this is taking forever and uh, it was definitely a lot quicker than 300 dpi obviously the higher the dpi you choose the bigger the file size will become so if that's an issue for you you know pick 300 dpi or even lower if um you know quality is something that uh is not as important to you in that particular document scan oh. All right, it is ready for the final paper. Okay, there's that beep. So hit the scan button again. And I will most definitely be fast forwarding this because uh, it is taking forever. Oh, that's scanning. Um, I'll show you this. If you're interested in a riding lawnmower, I just made a really cool article. I basically have all the top riding lawnmowers, um, whether you you like to buy from Sears, Home Depot, or Lowe's, or you know perhaps like a local dealer. Um, I found pretty much all the top selling models. You got the basic information, and you know if you click a link, it'll take you to where that lawnmower was found, and you can get some more details as far as current pricing goes. Um, and I got some information about transmissions, you know. And this article, as most of my articles are, um, something that I like to keep adding to and fixing and finding typos and stuff like that. But as you can see, I mean, I, I didn't count them. I forgot how many there are, but I think there's over 20 lawnmowers in here for the lawn tractor type. And also, um, if you're looking for self-propelled lawnmowers. I have an awesome article about that too, and uh, this used to be 10 lawnmowers, but the list has grown, and I go through all the reviews, I uh, go through all that data, and I create my own um, opinion of regarding, opinion on the lawnmower regarding, based on, uh, you know, what I read. So, if you're, you know, looking to buy any type of lawnmower, <coughs> excuse me, you should definitely check out simplyeditions.com, and, you know, the links are right on the homepage, <coughs> excuse me, and if you're by any chance interested in adding on to your house, click on the home additions link. Let's say you want to add a bedroom, you click on that. And then you select the size of your bedroom. Let's say you want a bedroom over your garage, a master suite, so that means a bathroom as well. So you click on that, and you get some, you know, some photos. You can click on the plan to see what that looks like. This is the bedroom. This is the closet. This is the bathroom. But anyways, let me get rid of all that because... Uh, it looks like we are finished, so I'll click exit. And what that has done is it popped up an Explorer window. And here is my document. Now, this is 400 DPI. But you know what? For three pages, three meg or 2.85 megabytes, it's not that bad. So we click it. Let me zoom out. And unfortunately, all this information is blurred. But what I want you to see here is that it is you know the full document as you can see this is way larger than eight and a half by eleven and so is the last page see so that's how you do it I hope you enjoyed this video and you know check out the next three clips of some other popular videos I got going right now and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, by the way if you're not a subscriber yet make sure you subscribe I mean, I do videos on tons of different topics. There's got to be at least one video that you're going to love. Seriously.